Hello everyone. The topic of our today's presentation is introduction to socket programming. My name is Shivam Joshi and my fellow members are Shashank Mal and Shreyas Chaudhary. So to begin with it, let's start with the introduction of socket programming. A socket is a mechanism for allowing communication between processes, be it programs running on the same machine or different computers connected on a network. More specifically, internet sockets provide a programming interface to the network protocol stack that is managed by the operating system so what is meant by socket programming a socket is one endpoint of a two way communication link between two programs running on the network a socket is bound to a port number so that the tcp layer can identify the application that data is destined to be sent to an endpoint is a combination of an ip address and a port number so how does socket programming work a socket has a typical flow of events in a connection oriented client to server model the socket on the server process waits for request from a client to do this the server first establishes an address that clients can use to find the server so what exactly creates a socket and what makes a connection is shown through an example so why do we need socket programming a unix socket is used in a client server application framework a server is a process that performs some function on request from a client most of the application level protocols like ftp smtp and pop3 make use of sockets to establish connection between client and server and then exchanging data so this is the flow chart or what we can say or a tabular form of how socket programming works so the features of socket programming socket programming usually pertains to the basic communication protocols like tcp udp and raw sockets like icmp these protocols have small communication overhead when compared to underlying protocols such as http dhcp stmp etc